Okay, welcome back. Uh, in the last couple of videos, we've gone over the functionality and setting up your voice attack to provide both uh, speech to text and text to speech, utilizing dictation for the first one and quick text input for the second. In this video, we're going to go over using brackets and setting up prefix and suffix. So let's get to it. All right, to start with, you want to create a new command or start the new command. And we're going to call it mother. And we're going to make this a prefix. We're going to go down here and we're going to change that to a prefix. And we're going to give it a group and we're going to call it mother. And we're going to click OK. Now with the existing commands, we're going to go back to them and we're going to make them suffix. We're going to call them mother to that group. Okay. That's the mother command. This is the. And what this does is it provides a little bit more realism and functionality control over your. Uh, voice attack profile. So that way you have to address the computer with a proper name, uh, giving it more realistic characteristics. All right, so let's test that. Mother, I'm back. Hello, Commander. Okay, so as you can see, I added a new command too. I added an I'm back. Now let's take a look at that. It's just a basic uh, quick text or text-to-speech profile, sorry, text-to-speech profile, but I've added a variable in brackets, so it's going to say either hello or greetings. I'm going to modify this. Open that up, and you can see that there is a semicolon between hello and greeting, and we're going to add another one. We're going to say hi, and what that does is it puts a variable, so these three things could be said with the word commander. Go ahead and test that. Mother, I'm back. Hello, Commander. I'm back. See, it doesn't recognize it without the prefix. Mother, I'm back. Hello, Commander. Mother, I'm back. Hi, Commander. And you can see it injected the variable. And it's unclear as to what number of times it causes or if it's just a random roll. But uh, it does provide some... Uh, variable in your the responses from the computer. So you can use that in your uh, text-to-speech functionality as well as in your command line. So let's go ahead and change it in the command line. So let's go back to, uh, let's type in a new command, okay? Okay, we're gonna say power to shields. We're going to add a variable to the command line with the word please, put a couple brackets around it, close it, and we're going to tell it what to say, sounds. Now obviously you can get it to play sounds from your uh, hard drive. I'm not going to go over all of that. You should be able to know how, you should already know how to find and uh, link fol folders and files to programs. But we're going to do a text-to-speech, say shield. Maxim. And another one saying Right? Let's preview it. Full power to shields. Full power to shields. And you can see it's using the variable here as well without Full the brackets. Full power to shields. Full power to shields. So if we can get full the, power to shields. Get it to change. Full power to shields. Full power to shields. Uh, maybe not, but it will. All right, so we've got that in there, and we've got the variable also of please up in the command line. So let's go ahead and test it. Power to shields. Power to shields. Full power to shields. Power to shields. Full power to shields. Power to shields. Shields to maximum. Okay. 
and let's go in and modify it so that way it gets it spelled correctly <laughs> and says it correctly. Okay, and now let's make it a suffix command. That's simple. You just drop it into the suffix group that it goes to, and boom, done. Now you can also split this up into groups. So you can see you can collapse and expand the groups as necessary to uh, deal with the ones you're working on. And as you get more and more commands, that list will get extremely long, and you'll want this functionality so you can hide stuff. So you're just looking at what you need to. All right, so let's go back and let's test it. Power to shields. Mother, power to shields. Mother, power to shields. Shields to maximum. Mother, power to shields, please. Mother, power to shields, please. Mother, power to shields, please. Full power to shields. And with some speech recognition training, uh, it will pick up your voice immediately and you'll be able to get uh, further functionality with it. So that's with the uh, brackets and variables and your commands come into play. Uh, let's look at some other functionality we can put into here. You can import commands. So if you have a voice attack profile, either from uh, HCS voice packs or some other third party, you can import them into your uh, voice attack. And there are all kinds of videos on how to do that. Uh, you can search. You can segregate, smoke and uh, heighten, use it to press, mouse attributes, joysticks, and prefix commands, hidden commands, and full commands. And that's the basics of voice attack in three little videos.